every day, every day, I set out a time for them. Even if it's just for an hour. We gonna do this, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna run around the block, if you wanna play PlayStation, whatever you wanna do. Because on this special day, which me and my wife, our, our date night is every Friday. So during, during the week, as my kids was younger and I got me a mentor, I started giving them so many. I can't give y'all all the day because it's too many of y'all. We only seven <laughs> days in the week, you know what I'm saying? But I, but I began to give them day hours. Yeah. What you want to do in your hour? What you want to do in your hour? So we go to school, get home from work, do this, do this. So two kids might have seven o'clock. The other kid might have eight o'clock. They got to be in bed by nine. Mm -hmm. So some of the times, two of the two of the kids that got their days, they just put it together and we'll go do something together. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is you have to make time. That's true. If, if you if you're not if you're not willing to make time for the kids, I don't care what it is, you have to make time. Time is everything. I tell people this all the time. Love is not spelled L-O-V-E. Love is spelled T-I-M-E. Time. You have to put in the time. You have to put in the work. If you want the results that you want out of your children, you have to put in the time. The quickest way to become a millionaire is invest in your child. Invest in them. And I'm not talking about PlayStation and, and Apple and Michael Jordan. That's not that's not an investment. Yeah, you invest in, in Sony. You <laughs> invest in Jordan. That's not an investment in our child. Right. You know how many you know how many men and women out here, bro, all the time say, "Man, my my child got everything." Yeah, they got everything but your time. Yep, got everything but your time. You don't got no time for them. Mm -hmm. you, you running around doing this, doing that, doing that, doing that. Yeah, you could provide for them, but where's the time that you put in it right now? My daughter waiting on me to take her to the swimming pool right now. She waiting on me to take her to the swimming pool right now. So when we left our house and came to my brother-in-law house where I'm at right now, she said, Daddy, can I bring my swim my my uh my swimsuit? I said, Yeah. Cause I told her I was gonna take her swimming at our house. Mm. I said, so she's daddy, can I bring? Yeah. So she guess what? When I told her I had this interview, she wait, she patiently wait. Oh, well, let me well, I, I don't wanna uh be there. No, no, you good. We we gonna finish this though. We gonna finish this though. But this I'm just saying, good. but 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 that's what I'm saying though, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it's things like that that me, bro. A child don't a child don't care nothing about no Jordans and none of that, bro. They cares less about that stuff. That's stuff that we care about. That's our image. Yeah. How do you you your your baby three years old and you don't want to Threw him a thousand dollar party. That's for you. I got nothing to do with this baby. Yep. So you can put it all on social media. Yeah, my son had on Gucci and he had on this, he had on that. He three years old. He'll never remember that stuff a day in his life. Nope. That's your image. Why not just be normal? Mm -hmm. Why not take that thousand dollars and put it in the trust fund form? Mm -hmm. Go do something. Go put it in a CD form. Mm -hmm. Don't say, man, for your fifth birthday, you know what I did for you? You see how you set up right there, man? I took this $1,500 I was finna go pay for this party, and I put it in a CD for you. Yep. I put it in a bond for you. I put it in some stock. You know, but we don't, we're we not taught that. And I'll be a lie and say that I was taught that. I was taught that as I got older and got me a mentor. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't taught that. With all the money that I done had and ran through and did foolish stuff with, Man, I'm supposed to be a multi-millionaire. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, true. it's like with conversations like this that we having right now, mm -hmm. I hope the viewers are listening. And because like I always say, in all my motivational speaking, if I could change the way you think, I could change the way you live. That's true. That is very true. And I love if I could change the way you think, I could change the way you live. That's right. And I, I like when you talked about uh the time. Because a lot of times this happens with because uh, I have a blended family, right? Uh, I've, I've had a blended family in my in my my previous marriage. I have a blended family now. And even 
you know, with, with, with my son, with, with his dad, you know, a lot of times it's just like, okay, y'all, y'all going to, you know, do this, do that or whatever. I'm like, it's about the time. You got to put in the necessary time. Kids don't care about what, what you, they don't, they don't remember you bought them, them Jordans, those, those fives. They don't remember that. Like you said, they want your time. And cause man, my kids here, Every five minutes, they daddy, 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 let's go do you know what I'm saying? Every five minutes, they they just want your time, and that's, that's the it. memories that you create, man. And for some odd reason, we think we can buy our kids love, and that's it doesn't work like that. Because when they look back 20 years from now, kids are a long-term investment. Yep. <laughs> yep. Know, man? Long term investment. And and the, and, the, and and you gotta think like this. Just just ask yourself this, bro. We look at it and say, we try to buy our kids love, right? The same things our mamas and daddies try to do to us instead of spending time with us. Yep. I'll buy you a Nintendo. Yep. I'll buy you this. I'll buy you that. You know, just to, just to, now guess what? We on Nintendo all night long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and long as we out they hair. Long as we out they face. You know what I mean? So it's just like, when 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 we when we sit down and having these children, like even with Mr. Cam Newton, when you sit down and having these children, you having them for what read? What's the purpose? What are the purpose of you having these children? Mm. Is it is it because because nine times out of ten, it ain't about sex. Because you Cam Newton, you could basically walk up to any woman. <laughs> And I ain't gonna say any woman, right. no, not to all women, because but you could the average woman, you could go have sex, and that's what you're trying to do. So it can't be about that. But what's the purpose behind it? What, what what's your purpose behind that? Because it has to be a purpose. If, if if that's driving you to have all these children, what was the purpose? What's your purpose behind it? What are these children gonna benefit out of just being Cam Newton's son? Or Cam Newton daughter, or you could make sure that they gonna have this in life and that in life and this in life. But at the end of the day, as you being a man, as you being a father, what are you teaching them? What values are you teaching them? Are you teaching them this is the way men are supposed to treat women? Are you teaching your daughter this the way a woman is supposed to be treated? Yeah, you could be somebody baby mama. It's okay to be somebody baby mama. Your mama, my baby mama. You could be somebody baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? So what values are you teaching them by doing stuff like that? Because what, what, when you when you sit them down and they all at the kitchen table and y'all all for Christmas and all this and all that, you got 10 kids, you got eight, nine, 10 baby mamas. And as they get older and older and older, now they starting to try to figure out why didn't you never marry my mama? Mm. Why? What Was my mama not good enough for you? Ooh. Because everybody not going to follow down your path. If somebody's going to have some sense to say, was my mama not? So my mama just wasn't nothing but a baby mama, huh? Ooh. And now you got to get hit with the harsh reality. What if somebody did me like that? How would you feel? And guess what, Cam? With all due respect, you can't even, you can't even flip an eyelid if somebody did your daughter like that, if somebody did your son like that, because you dissed it out. Mm. You made them believe that's how this is supposed to be. And like I'm saying, I don't got no knock to the man preference. What he do is what he do. But I'm saying you got to look at it from all angles. Look at it from all angles now. And if you can't look at it from all angles, then you're not being true to yourself. Mm, man, that is so good, man. I Because I remember, man, I remember going through my divorce and my daughter uh, at the time, at the time, my daughter was, she was like, 14 and i remember her asking me like why like why you and mom getting a divorce you know and at that time when they i couldn't tell her exactly everything i wanted to and it was right. one of those seasons in my life where i was telling her when i get when you get older we can have these conversations when you get a little older my daughter is 21 now right i'm remarried you know the good stuff now my daughter and I can have those conversations. Exactly. And and, and, and everybody know to those who follow me on social media, y'all know I, I will never talk bad about my, my ex-wife. Never. Because I'm like, I married her, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You exactly. Know, I, I that's the thing I struggle with. Why are there so many people that 
talk bad about their baby mom or their baby dad. Like you say, you lay, let's, let's take some accountability. They didn't put a gun to your head. You said yes. Exactly. So, yeah. so, the, so, the, so the thing, the thing be, the thing be about it is one thing that I did learn as my growth being growing myself for the last like 10 plus years, mm -hmm. you only, you only can speak how you feel about you. Yeah. You can you can only speak the things that you feel about yourself. Yeah. So, uh, just like I just like I told you earlier, I I don't I would never look at none of my kids' mothers and say anything bad about them to nobody, and I never have, never have, ever. You know, because at the end of the day, it tells a lot about me. So you had a baby by. <laughs> You, you know what I'm saying? So you sitting here dogging and saying this and saying that, saying that. But guess what? Y'all share something in common, so you the reflection of her. And that's what a lot of people don't understand, though, bro. They don't understand that because, because the, the easiest thing that you could do in life is get people that's on your level to agree with you.